It's Yo. your girl. Hey, hey, oh, oh. <laughs> what is all? What is all? What is all that? I'm just trying to, you know, put my stamp down. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, I'm trying to be. You know what I'm saying? No, mm. no, nah, no. <laughs> I keep saying that. I don't, know. Whole lot. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, back to we're back and we're better. Got somebody else here. You got Miss Santrice Middleton. Okay, well, we'll let you go ahead and handle that. Yeah, we got Santrice, man. That's my dog, man. <laughs> Miss Santrice Middleton, man. Look, I feel funny saying that. I'll be like, hey, what's up, dog? That's how me and her talk. She's, hey, she'll text me like, Q! What's up, dog? What's happening, man? How you doing? Welcome, Welcome to the dinner table. How you doing? Man, I know you shy and all. See, they don't really know you. She shy. She don't like talking I knew, and all that. Years yeah, years she don't like talking, man. Height, she's so, she's so. Years years boy, boy, you bring up no, that's the, that's the gangster. I'm talking about, yeah, dog. That's why I said, I was like, okay, antique. Boy, look at boy. <laughs> boy, that's the gangster, there, boy. Boy, look, you, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> um, yeah, we gonna leave yeah, that. Yeah, four. Yeah, no. So welcome to the dinner table. So, um, you are one of the hottest. How can I say it? Beautician well, I don't know, It's deeper than that though But you've been in the hair game For a long time So let everybody know How long you've been in the hair game mm, I've been in the hair game For a long time <laughs> uh, Oh very long time I think I probably had Two jobs besides that That probably don't even count So yeah. uh, Burger King for about Two months And washing cars <laughs> For a couple of summers That's it You wash cars? Yeah, I used to watch cars. Oh, so you have an idea? She was doing. You you did my hair when I was um in it was sixteen years ago, <sighs> and you was I had already been well established by then. Yeah, she did my mama hair. Yeah. I was a little <laughs> nap. Yeah, it, mine was for prom. So you twenty plus years in the game. I know that. Yes, got to be. Y'all gonna feel my age. Yeah, yeah, that that was the next thing. That was the next thing I, I was going to do. Ain't pulling none out the box. It don't yeah. matter. You don't look it. Whatever it is. I'm I'm thirty seven. Oh, You've been doing hair since about 14. Oh, probably longer, Q. You 30 probably and some change. Longer, so. Yeah, I mean, your name been ringing bells forever, man. You know, I, I mean, I, she's got an institution. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, institute. Yeah. That's yeah, what, yeah, that yeah, that yeah. means yeah. something established, bro. You don't just have an institute and say, so, hey, it's a little shop or something <laughs> like that. It's different, ain't it? Yeah, you got to go to school and you get certain passes, and, you know. So so give us a little history of, of your, of your um, journey, you know. I know you done had a few shops. Um, I know a, a couple on, but I remember the one I used to pull up on down on Lane Walker. That was a spot right there, not too far from um, right across from the Walker Group up in there, the shop you had down there. I remember that one. Yeah. But I, you done had a lot on. Down on so. Millersville too, right? That was my favorite. The other one That's uh, across from the Walker Group. So uh, actually, uh, a friend of mine has that a uh, salon now, yeah. uh, Demond Parish, and he does well there, but. Um, I started out about a block a block away from uh, the shop you're talking about. Oh. I think I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try it again. <laughs> you ain't got to be nervous. It's the dinner table. Uh, yeah, man, you around family, man. Hey. Okay. Hey. <laughs> nah, we ain't going to do that now. I flip my height, man. Come yeah, out. Yeah, then the whole <laughs> tree might come out then. Uh, <laughs> I'm ready for the um, I'm ready for the questions. <laughs> <laughs> so you know you, you good now? Yeah, I think I'm good. You good. Yeah. You good, you good. So the one on Laney Walker, you said you started like a block away from that. Yeah. Um fresh out of high school. Um, what school you went to for everybody who don't know? I graduated from Josie, T J Josie. Josie. Oh, man. You from Green Dress. The fi- the fifteenth street. Yeah. yeah, Joseph. You went to the real Joseph. I yeah. went to the when, real When it was Solid Joseph. Boom, when, when, it was, when, when yeah. Doc was there and Dion and yeah. all that. Yeah, okay. Everybody okay. was yeah, telling me. I was dying there then. I just, you know, <laughs> I was you, a baby. You telling your age for real now. Yes. He keeps saying he's a baby too. He keeps saying he was small. <laughs> <laughs> That's my little inside. Don't tell Man. nobody. <laughs> but, but yeah, though, like um, that shot right there. Have you ever have you ever had well I know you done had a few of your own shop. Have you ever managed anybody else's shop before getting your own shop? Well what well, kinda of, sorta, of, I guess uh have I ever managed uh, I done been in a, a few shops. Uh I started at G N S on Lane Walker Boulevard. That's it used to be a shop right next to the health department. Okay. I started there. I think I was there maybe That's like, the blue building got upstairs to it. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think by CP used to be in that right? building one time. Yeah, CP. Yeah, yeah. yeah CP. Very good barber. Yeah. He taught me a lot about barbering. So yeah. I when I was a kid, Damn, yeah. I told you that little spot right yeah. there. Yeah. When I was a kid, that's the only person my mom let cut my hair. She ain't playing with her. CP used to be yeah. down there right? when they was on old, old Savannah, well, New Savannah Road. You had a haircut, yeah. bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I had a little fro, man. You know. Oh yeah, I so, forgot you had. Yeah, a little curly fro. <laughs> yeah. um, so that's GNS. Then I moved to Natural Beauty. It wasn't my salon, but uh, I kind of managed it for a friend. And then I had hair fetish and Santrices and Santrices. Where that one was located? That one was on Walton Way Extension, across from First Baptist, that big church. Uh, I think yeah. they got like a pizza joint over there. Oh, you was over Marcos. there? I was over there for a while. So. Okay. Um, my experience with uh, having my own salon is uh, it was it was okay. I do like I do like working with other people other than just just working by myself. You know, it makes it more interesting and you know, make me want to stay there longer, yeah. you know. What about now the one you had that was on um Central Avenue was that Central Avenue? Central Avenue. It was like a it was like a house. Wasn't it a house? Yeah, um I took a move a few years before I actually got that house and uh the house was actually big enough for me to work and live out of. So you were living so, in the house as well? Yeah, so okay. that was an experience. I really enjoyed it. It was very nice too, so that Did kinda you? worked out because I had little babies and yeah. everything. So <laughs> she got the gust to take over. Yeah. Yeah, so. man, nah, she done had a run, man. She, hey, look, she, I a, have. she, she a vet I in the game. Hey, Jesus. look. She, I'm twenty in the vet in the game. <laughs> 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 so now you know, I know cause me and you talked about the other the other business venture that you have, um, we talked about it a lot because you was called for a lot of insight on it. Yeah. And, but you got a school now. Um, I do. Our institute. So, so let us know about <laughs> your institute. Like, let, let the people know about it because it's a lot of people out here that you know a lot of young ladies that's coming up that's trying to trying to learn mm -hmm. to do hair or or even do you teach nails and makeup and all that as well in your institution. Everything. Okay. Everything. So give us a rundown. You know, give us the overview of your institution. Okay. So well, for starters. Uh, a lot of people probably think I just woke up and was like, hey, I want to teach cosmetology, but um, I have a 15-year-old, and um, I went to school when my daughter was actually maybe one, one and a half, and I went to school for teaching, so I've been sitting on that for almost 15 years and just finally decided What, what did you to go to school and get your uh, instructor's uh, license? Uh, the Georgia Institute of Cosmetology. The one that's up there. It used to be in Daniel Village. You're still in Daniel Village? It is. Where is it? I remember though. I, I know that one you talking about though. It's across from Augusta Mall now. Yeah, it's from yeah. Augusta Mall. It's yeah, across yeah. from Augusta Mall. Yeah. But, but yeah, that's why I went almost 15 years ago to get my instructor. So it's been a while. Yeah. Been so long I forgot, you know, for yeah. a second. Till you know, I just it just dawned on me. I got this. Let me do that. So. Mm -hmm. So what you what you had a dream, you know, you know a lot of people say it it was God given, which it is, but well, you know what 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 pushed you to start your own institution? Um, I think uh, children tend to do what they see. Uh, so my mother did hair. Um, I have an older sister. Simp. Simp. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, that's the OG simp. man. Come on, man. It's your yeah, she name. did hair. Uh, I used to see her doing her little pineapple waves and jerry curls and things yeah, like that. It's that throwback. You know, just doing their makeup <laughs> and kind of trolls. Yes, all of that. Trolls. So. It sound like food. I don't even know what y'all oh. talking about. Yeah, so uh, I guess I took an interest in it when I seen her doing a lot for people. Uh, that was at a young age. I probably was in elementary school or something like that. So my mom did it. I have an older sister who also does it. So. I guess we could say it's kind of hereditary, you know. You I see mean, what your you, mama do. You make, you making you you know you can alter somebody's whole attitude in their day when you do their hair. You yeah. know what I mean, girl? Because boy, I know some yeah, girls that come it. get their hair done by you, yeah. and boy, before they get there, Trace. I be Trace. like, well, where are you going? Like, yeah. you need to hurry up and go see <laughs> the trees, boy. Yes, yes. So you know, you see, you see it all. You I see, do. you see the ball head. Nah, I ain't trying to talk about nobody. But you see, you know what I mean. I see everything. So they go in your shop. They come out. They be like, they go in like a two. Yeah. They, they be really coming out like a salmon. Like, they do. They you know do. what I mean? So you really be changing. They go to the club and they might come up on it. They might come up on yeah. a hustler. They might come up on a ball player. You never know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're right. You are 
right. Yeah, so, to like, all that Delta Mountain, how come? Boy, went home. She took off everything. The hair, the eyes, the girl, the girl the nose, everything. The bra. <laughs> it was a D. You a whole A nine. <laughs> 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 so, so what's your tradition. school? What's your institution? How? What is the enrollment process and tuition fees? Or any tuition or fees? Or well. Considering it's my school, I kind of make it easy, and I try to keep it interesting. Uh, I know when I uh, went to school to get my cosmetology license and my instructors, I know I owe money back. So um, I don't know what made me come up with it. Maybe the love of it, you know, just the love of just being a hairstylist or something, just want to see somebody else do good at it. I kind of came up with the idea uh to help uh, women, uh, a lot of them, a lot of women, uh, they don't have a GED or a diploma, so I help them uh, work towards that, and a lot of them probably already drowning in debt, maybe can't afford to pay to go to school or some things like that, so I work out some things uh, to help them work towards their hours and help the community where the cosmetology school actually is so it's like a win-win we help in the community and they they working on their license so 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 do, so do you is it a what's the fee for them uh, attending your school or is uh, the, it a fee yeah it is a fee uh you have a 200 hundred dollar registration um mm -hmm. i've been doing that since since november uh I, I tried not advertising it too much i do it i throw it out there a little bit sometimes but Sometimes I like to see uh, women and men come to me with initiative to mm -hmm. really want it instead of me doing so much convincing, you know. So, yeah, that's the fee. Uh, two hundred and two hundred get you in the door, you know, to start working towards your hours. And so, does two hundred get you in the door? Like, is there any any we like to call them hidden fees? Uh, no. I mean, they got. Well, do they have to buy certain like buy, buy their kits and stuff like that? They required to buy their own. Nope, they not. They not. I got everything for him, so oh, man. I don't. I don't know how I got it. I guess Jesus just dropped. It <laughs> <laughs> you know, Two hundred get you in the dough. Get you. You hit, boy. Look, you working towards your license, uh, so. So you help get their license and everything too. Right? Getting ready yep. for the state board exactly. and all that. Exactly. Exactly. I know a lot of people who you know get shut down. They yeah. actually doing hair. Don't have a license. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised. I mean, yeah. it, your favorite Instagram uh, beautician, mm -hmm. well, she ain't got no license. Yeah. I, ain't, I ain't shooting no shots now. Yeah. Look, don't, yeah. don't don't jump down my throat when y'all hear this. But I mean, that's that's that's, that's facts yeah. though. Mm -hmm. And you'll be surprised how easy I'm making it for women and men to get their license. So, uh, so did you have to go through a lot of process or a lot of paperwork, anything with the state when you was starting this institution? Oh yes, oh yes, I really did. Uh, like I said, uh, sometimes things seem seem harder than you make it mm -hmm. until you actually put the work in to do it. So I put a lot of pressure on myself to realize, hey, it, it really it really ain't that bad, you know. I didn't. I put more pressure on myself to make this happen, and I kind of overdid it. Okay. I kind of did too much. To, I kind of over prepared, you know. So that was a help, you know, mm -hmm. to know that I did way too much panicking yeah. you know instead of thinking i'm gonna fail at it so yeah i did do a lot of work and it's it's still a lot of work yeah. i can't deny that it's a lot yeah, definitely and, a lot and, and like i said i'm proud of you because i remember when you you first asked me and you, you hit me up you was like q i'm finna start a school and i was like all right bro run it like yeah i feel you like now q i'm for real and that was a long time ago yeah. i mean you know it, it at least was uh, probably a year before you even started the process and mm -hmm. found the building You're like q i'm gonna do this i'm like bro whatever you need me to do Yep. I mean, so I think that, I I think I called you uh, maybe right when I probably got the keys to my building yeah. or something like that. So the building was a mess, you know. Yeah. So, so so how long did it take you to get everything together from when you initially <laughs> came up with the idea? Mm, I started in two thousand seventeen. It's two thousand and two thousand and nineteen. I had the keys to my building. Uh, Let's see, see, since 2000, August 2017, so uh, it is May, uh, April, April I actually got certified, so uh, certified, deemed as a school, I okay. mean, so 
Uh, I say by right at about a year and a half or something okay. like that to get the equipment and paperwork and things like that to set up. So, do you, so are you still actually doing your regular customers here, or you just focus more on the institution? It's hard breaking away from that chair. It really is. <laughs> I thought you finished said that chick. That chick too, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> chick. Now, so honest, honestly, that's how I can make a lot of things uh, affordable and free to my students because of my clients. You know, yeah. they still bless me. You know, a lot of people count on me. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people look for me for privacy. Like you said, a lot well, of people. Well, look, I, look, I'm telling you now, I know. We ain't going to say no name, but <laughs> yeah. I know some girls that they come in there drink with the. I gotta go see my girl and had a had a hoodie on, like, <laughs> and I'd be like, "Hey, let me." See. Yeah. yeah. I right. mean, you know, we you're right. Like, we ain't right. gonna say the money. Right. You're right. And privacy yeah, though, because they pulling the joint off, do rag and all. Let me see that. <laughs> That's nappy. You need that. <laughs> yeah, but like you said, you've been doing some. You've been doing the hair so long. Yeah. And they don't. You know, it's hard to go to somebody else, and, and you have to, you know, show them the real you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, I still do hair. Um. You do it. You do it. Do you do it in the school now, or do you do it? I actually uh, teach Monday through Thursdays mm-hmm. right now, um, and I do my clients after after five on Thursdays and uh, Fridays and Saturdays. So mm-hmm. I still get to work at least two days out of the week. They might be sitting on each other laughing there, but you know, <laughs> we gonna get the job done and get the bills paid. Yeah, you definitely gotta do that. You definitely gotta. Do. So for. I know it's it's a it's a look it's a girl out here that's listening or not even listening it's a, it's a young girl out here that's one you know be somebody like you like what would you tell that young girl that, or what would you tell them let me let me reword that what would you tell your younger self? Um, for one, uh, nobody ain't nobody gonna see your vision but you. Nobody ain't gonna see your vision but you. You know. Um, I wish I had after. I wish I had before pictures. Uh, my clients love me so much, Lord. That, that building was a mess. They didn't walk through rain to get to my chair. Uh, you know, the building kind of leaking, the floor messed up. This, you know, they're just, they really, they the really, they're loyal to that Lord to go through that. So for them to see the transition of how it looks now, you know, I know they happy. And you, you, you gonna have some people who gonna believe in you and you gonna have some people who not, so. Uh, Main thing is to believe in yourself, and you got to keep pushing and keep trying. Yeah, definitely. As long as you keep trying, uh, it'll happen for you, and that's just the truth. So, is it let everybody know how to get in contact with you, where you're located at? Because a lot of people just don't know. And, and, and trust me, two hundred dollars, yeah, two hundred dollars, get off in the door. You know, you you know how much a, a cosmetology school costs. I mean, you know that yeah, personally. Exactly, so. exactly. Uh, I owe some money to somebody behind yeah, some, me. You owe like, somebody. I do. <laughs> I do, but uh, you can contact me. I don't even know my school telephone number, <laughs> unfortunately. But the, the address is 2601 Deans Ridge Road, Sweet B is in Boy. And uh, Mondays through Wednesdays is a good, are good days to come talk to me and try to get enrolled. I make it kind of easy, and I'm here to help. So the requirements is they don't need a high school and they don't need a GED. They don't need that to get in. You definitely, you definitely need a high school diploma or a GED. Uh, I need your driver's license and uh, just fill out an application. Okay. And some people, some people even don't even have a registration fee to start. Mm-hmm. So. I'm, I'm helping them with that if they don't have it, you know. Okay. If you really want your license, I'm here to help you get them. Okay, motivation. Yeah, I see. Yeah. 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 So yeah. for all y'all who don't know how to do ponytails and still doing pony t- <laughs> still up there. Y'all can holler at my girl, she yeah. so y'all can get license and all that good yeah. stuff. Yeah, Take them state boards. Do a little piece of hair. I mean, yeah. I'm trying to get this little piece of her. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get that. I'm going to the ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, follow my ball head, <laughs> <laughs> See my girl on uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and uh, we charge an extra 200 for Sundays. So uh, <laughs> Definitely yeah. extra 200 for Sundays. If I can't walk in the church, too. And Moya might need to see you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I was going. I was because yeah, when she was standing in front of me, table. she was like, oh, "My head don't stink." And um, my head don't stink, boy. 
Oh. I smell better than dreads, I bet. I bet, bet some. Bet. You know, these be stay oh, down. I just watched this before I came here, but it was wet when I pulled up. It was yeah, it wet before you put it in. It, it did no, look kind of sad puppy wet. It was wet. So it smelled good at court. Hold on, so you can wash stuff like this? Oh, my God. Am I doing mm. it right anyway? I'm going to ask the beautician. I can wash it while it's in my head. I can do that, right? Yes, you sure can. You I bought it. Right? You paid for it. Exactly. I, I didn't know I paid for it's it. mine. I spent. <laughs> anyway, I am the current owner of this here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm the owner. Y'all get on my nerves. Mm. Anyway, we want to thank Miss Santrice Middleton for bringing your lovely self into this building thank you. and helping our community and helping our young girls and guys. Yep. Yeah, and bro, she trying to hook tape lines up too. So yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. some guys want to learn how to do hair too. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yes, so I'm out there. All right, so um, but uh, for everybody else, we'll be back. We got some more. We got another great. Um, guests for you coming up and just stay tuned.